Hey, what's up everyone? Hope you're all doing really, really well, enjoying the weekend. Video for today, I wanna to talk about something called personal branding. It sounds a little cliche, a little fluffy, but it's really, really important, not just for developers, but for everyone. So what exactly is personal branding? But the idea is really simple. It's just what you think about when you think of someone. And you have this for everyone, all your peers, all your role models, all your mentors, everyone you encounter, me. So when you think about me or my name, you have this automatic thought in your brain. When you think of Elon Musk, you have a thought. When you think of Bill Gates, you have a thought. If you think of your classmates, you have a thought too. And vice versa, everyone on the outside has a perception of you, which is really, really important and what this video is about. So your personal brand is what people think of when they think of you. You have this for everyone around you and everyone around you has that for you. Before we get into it, I want to address one other point. You've probably heard this piece of advice very often from me or other people, but that's not worrying about what other people think of you. And you may think that's going at odds with this whole concept of personal branding, but not worrying what other people think of you doesn't give you a free pass to do whatever you want, be an asshole, be a jerk, just complain. The whole concept of personal branding is that you don't have to worry about what other people think of you, but to develop a good personal brand, you still have to put your best foot forward and present yourself in the best way that you possibly can and then let other people make their own judgments. So those two little pieces of advice, they don't necessarily go at odds with each other, they're just different. So this video, it's about personal branding and how you can develop and present yourself in the best way. First thing I wanna talk about is writing. And then this is not writing code, writing code is table stakes. This is every other type of writing. This is writing emails, writing direct messages to your peers, writing uh, design documents for new software, but all your writing heavily reflects your personal brand because clear writing reflects clarity of thought, right? When you read something that's confusing, you don't quite get it, it reflects very bad on the writer. It reflects that the writer doesn't really know what he or she is talking about or can't really communicate what he or she is talking about well. But when you read something very clear, with a clear expectation, a clear action, you know that the writer is thinking clearly and that contributes very well to a personal brand. Let's just take a couple examples. When you're writing an email, be very, very sure to set the expectation clearly. This is a simple memo. I don't need any response. Or this is a discussion email. I'm expecting a response. Furthermore, when you write the email, all the details count. Pay attention to the formatting. If you have a very, very important call to action, you can make it bold. If you're trying to list out an options, use a numerated A, B, C, D list. Everything down to the spelling, to the formatting, to how concise it is, it all contributes to how clear your email is and how clear your email is is how you're perceived as a developer, right? So always pay a lot of attention to every form of writing in a professional setting. It's almost, if not more important, than the code you write. Another good part of your personal brand to develop is that you should be known to be open to receiving feedback and criticism. When people think of you, they shouldn't think of a very stubborn person who doesn't take any criticism well. You have to be able to take criticism very well and improve and take some action upon it. And it's very easy to be like, I'm a humble person, I'm, I have a lot of humility, you know, I'm not, I'm not stubborn at all, but you really have to showcase that in your work. So a couple of examples are, if you have a code review open. I've seen a lot of people who just put up a code review and they really don't want to change what they've done. Even if they received a lot of feedback, everyone's like, oh, this part kind of needs to be fixed up. This part doesn't work so well. Some people just don't like changing what they've already done. One really easy way is if somebody gives you a good, honest, useful piece of feedback on your code review, just go ahead and make those changes and show that you can just receive some criticism and act on it. Third, third point I want to make about personal branding that's really good to develop is that you have to be known as somebody that respects your interaction with everyone. So you all know those people, those people you talk with at work where you talk with them and things are just going way over their head. You can kind of tell they don't care what you're talking about. And you don't want to be that person. You want to be that person that just doesn't care. So every single interaction you have with everyone you work with, you have to respect that person, what they're trying to tell you and respect their time. All right, so that point sounded a little fluffy, right? What does it mean to value your interactions with everyone? But let me give a concrete example to showcase how you can develop this part of your personal brand. But given a week, you're just an average developer. Given one week, you might have five different things going on. Fix a bug, work on a project, pair a program with somebody. You have 
five or six concurrent things going on at the same time and it's a lot of different processes that you have to manage in your brain but one other one important thing that I like to do is like I like to bookmark all my conversations and remember where each one of them left off you had a conversation with Bob last week where did it leave off or you were working with Alice on this new project what was the last thing to do after you guys last programmed on that but every single concurrent conversation you have you should just bookmark that conversation and remember how it left off and how it has to progress because I can't tell you there's so many people that I've talked with when working on projects and working on different things and there's a lot of stuff going on a lot of people just forget they're like hey Joe do you remember how we left off last week about that work and Joe's gonna be like oh I just I forgot about that you know that slipped my mind can you just remind me what we're working on again that happens a lot and that shouldn't be you every single you interaction you have there could be five of them ten of them 20 different things going on at the same time bookmark each one of those and remember how it left off because the personal brand that that gives off is that every single person you work with every single person that you have a conversation with they know that they, you value their interaction because you always remember it last point fourth point I want to make about personal branding is that you do not want to be the complainer you always know about the complainer but it's very easy especially for programmers to be the complainer it's like oh man our software stinks why are we using these libraries I hate Java or JavaScript is the worst thing they're just complaining just complaining they're complaining about a language they're complaining about the company they're complaining about the new projects they're working on but you might think it's okay to do this you might think oh it's over lunch we can just complain or it's just water cooler talk it's really not professional but I would highly highly recommend that you be very careful and minimize your complaining just like do it at home do that with your family don't even bring it to the workplace I've seen so many developers over different jobs that they just complain a lot at lunch or they just complain a lot they they chat a lot and it actually reflects very poorly on them even if you think just a little bit of complaining about JavaScript at lunch is harmless you actually don't know how that affects everyone around you just complaining to a group of table gives that group an impression of you as a complainer and that kind of have a ripple effect through the company so overall this is a really easy thing your personal brand shouldn't be the complainer you should avoid that brand and I just want to mention this because I've seen so many developers love complaining just complaining about everything right so that's not a good vibe to give off you don't want to be the complainer you just want to you know propose solutions be a good person to work with and not just be a pain in the ass so it's the last fourth point don't be the complainer all right guys that wraps up the video so let's just recap real quick my top four points about maintaining and developing a good personal brand and putting your best foot forward so first one written anything written outside your code remember clarity of writing is clarity of thought so second second is be open to receiving some feedback and taking action on it be a little bit humble don't just create a PR and never change anything third part is going to be valuing your interactions with everyone and remember you can do this by just bookmarking and remember your conversations with everyone you work with and finally fourth is don't be the complainer so that's it for personal branding you might not think this is important but actually it's really really important because even inside you might think everyone can think they're a genius developer you might think you're amazing to work with you're a really good programmer but everybody has a personal brand just first the first thing you can do is just take a sampling of everyone you work with all your colleagues you already have your own perception of all your colleagues think about what they've done to develop your perception of them and then once you've done that just take inventory of everything you do and kind of think about what is my personal brand when other people think of me that work with me what do they think about and you want to actually develop that in the best way forward if you think you're really smart but other people think you're an idiot it's not great last thing I want to mention before I sign up for this video is that I haven't been making too many videos recently because I've been a little busy and I'm trying to work still work on this book this software developer life book and I'm finally I have a final manuscript for it I'm just editing it trying to get some feedback from my friends but I think once I finish that book it's gonna have about 40 chapters it's all all my top content in one place because YouTube's a little tricky like I have videos here videos there but it's all scattered and unless you just sit 
and peruse all these software videos. It's tough to get one place with all my top content. So stay tuned for this book. I'll give more updates on it, but I have the final manuscript almost ready. I gotta, I'm gonna self-publish it because I'm not an author, but once I publish it, it's gonna be on Amazon. You can probably order a copy and it's gonna be all my content finally just in one place. And I think it's gonna be much, much more convenient than these videos. So stay tuned for the book and hopefully that'll be released in the next 10 years. So. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a like, please give me a thumbs up, share the video, ask me any questions, and I'll see everybody next time, all right?